Hey, it's Alex and I'm back with an oil pastel tutorial how to make something super duper soft and fluffy. So first of all, you're going to create contrast as soon as possible. I took my dark creamy chocolatey brown and I'm using that. It has a richer, looser pigment and so I'm using that to just sketch out the darkest shadows. Add not just one color, you know, as one like kind of base color, you want to have a mixture of them peaking in different places. And that's because that's what actual fur is like. That's what most fabrics are like. They're not just one flat color. And so I didn't just use the cool brown and be like, okay, it's a brown coat. No, you want to use a cool brown with that warm sienna to introduce some red oranginess. Then I'm also using a tan for the lighter parts where the light is reflecting back. And also I'm using a mustard yellow. And then this is me adding my brightest of whites which is like a no-no in some circles. They say reserve it for the end or don't even use it. Yeah, but I like to go in there with my creamy white. It not only helps with the colors, but also with the texture, which is a huge part of fur. And so I think it's crucial to have a more firm, drier kind of pastel, and then to also have the creamy or more richly pigmented pastels as well. And then using them to build the forms and then also to give a softness a fluffiness to this coat so i'm here using a brush to soften up the pigment but what really worked was me spreading it around with my finger that helped to really loosen up the pigment i had a bit more control with it and so that's what i'm doing here and i'm trying to move it in the direction of the coat like where everything is supposed to go this is me kind of telling you where the coat is supposed to be falling or fitting or draping over her shoulder, wrapping around her arm, falling into the couch. So this is me telling the pigment where to go. And then I go back in with my brush and I add color as I need to to restore those darks and also to let it know where those lines are supposed to be, the creases of the coat. And then I'm adding, again, some more color for interest and then trying to figure out those shadows. That's like really, really important for this piece is to um, understand how light is interacting with the fabric. That's a huge part of the way that we perceive materials is based on whether or not they reflect light, whether or not they're hard and rough or soft like this coat. And I feel like pastels are perfect in conveying a certain kind of softness it looks really really just like so cuddly when it's done with pastel and that's a big reason why i love them so so much and as you see here it's starting to look a bit too soft like dough and so this is how i know these values are not working i have to take it a step further so that i can really have this combination of sharp defined lines to give the softer shape some more dimension. So I crushed up some drier pastel and I sprinkled it over those dark parts and now I'm just pressing it in with a gentle uh, paintbrush. I don't want something too firm so it's scraping off the pigment, but I do wanna be able to press it down in there and to get those really defined lines that I need so that it doesn't just look <laughs> like raw dough wrapped around the character. Like we want it to have more of a form, like a skeletal structure that's pulling it together and keeping it strong because it is a very heavy coat. So this is giving weight to it. This is helping it to seem more realistic and pop a little more. And I'm just pressing that pigment down in there and then going back as I need to with my other pastels, to brighten up some certain colors and to give it some more shape. Again, with every single step, I'm making sure that nothing's getting too washed out. The pigment isn't just becoming all gray and murky because we are working with a lot of brown. So we want to give that the color of the love that it deserves and make it look really rich, luxurious, and again, soft and cuddly. 
And then I'm just adding some more of my lighter colors to give balance on those edges. This piece was so important for me because I got to see how colors are interacting at different edges, like where the light and the shadow meets, and then trying to recreate what I was seeing was really, really awesome. So this is my favorite part of painting is adding in those fine details. I think it's because after such sustained observation of my reference, now I'm seeing the picture in a totally different way. And I'm able to more accurately, I think, represent my reference than I could when I initially started the painting. It's kind of like getting into this flow state where you're solely like painting, I guess, for the satisfaction of yourself. You're thinking, okay, now the work is over. How do I add my own personal touch? How do I make this feel like it's good enough? And I kind of just work it until I'm like, I feel a sense of satisfaction. And really, I'm, I'm having fun at this point because now I feel like the coat has become its own character and we're just having some bonding time before I move on to the rest of the picture, which I feel like is going to be so much easier, or at least I did at that point. It, it turned out to not be much easier than the coat itself, but I love that I started with this coat. I, I wanted to tackle it because I felt like it would be so challenging and yet, I mean, it was, it, it was challenging, but I actually ended up having more fun than I thought I would. There's something here that is like really, really exciting me. I love the vintage aesthetic. I love that I'm using a whole lot of brown. Brown is a color that I wouldn't really use that much other than like with skin, I would kind of just like forget about it. And so it was great to have that be like a focal point in this image. And it's of something that is just so beautiful and cuddly and warm and soft and I love it. I also just really like how it looks so heavy and I was able to capture the life of this object with oil pastel. 